Hi guys, it is February 23rd, 2019. I'm going to go through some information showing you more damage from our uh, weather uh, front that seems to be just mm, constantly being fed with aerosols and then cooked with microwaves and high frequency heating from our Doppler radar stations. And well, I'll show you it all. And then I'm going to read some of that article that I said that I was going to last night with that um, renowned, respected scientist who sat on the United Nations IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Get that name, Intergovernmental. Oh, it's not an interscientific. It's an intergovernmental panel where they create policy for governments to institute their rules and regulations and their taxes because, oh my God, climate change, global warming, look at what it's doing. Okay. Well, that scientist is just one of many whistleblowers. He sat on that panel and then he moved away from the panel and said, whoa, there ain't no science going on with that panel seems to be more propaganda. All right, but I'm going to start with this video first. And I want to thank my subscriber who sent it along, Arizona. Oh boy. Yep. Things are bad in Arizona. You can all hear me. Uh, answer to the main question is we don't know what's going on out here. I, Tucson's never seen anything like this before. Uh, we've gotten lots of calls about a white powdery substance all over. We did have our crime lab out here just a little bit ago. Uh, one of our officers here is helping out now with that. Uh, some stuff were taken to the lab, and as soon as we find out what this is, uh, we will let you know. Please don't go out in it. Um, I was touching it earlier. We don't recommend you doing this, uh, but I can tell you this is burning. This is burning my hand right now. So um, we do have a little bit of training. And matter of fact, I don't know if you let me roll on my gums. Okay. Doing? Okay. No, that burns. That this isn't. Do not try that. Uh, we have some training in that 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 burns. As as soon as we get a call from the crime lab back, uh, we will let you know exactly what's going on here right now. Apology. Wait a minute. Okay, this is a crime lab. Hello. What? You're kidding me. You're it's uh, it's frozen water. Uh, hey guys, let's uh. Tear this down. It's uh, it's it's frozen water. It's frozen water. I'm, so, I, um, I'm sorry. Don't play this part, please. Great goggle. This really isn't a big deal. I don't know what why everyone's so concerned and panicking around the city. It's uh, it's frozen water. It's it's frozen not. Uh, they call it snow. I know we've never we don't see it a lot here, but it, it's just snow, guys. Uh, so drive slow. <laughs> Keep, are you okay? Yeah, got my mouth. Got your mouth. Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, drive slow, leave extra distance between vehicles, and uh, give yourself some extra time if you're going somewhere. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, everything's fine, okay? Um, we appreciate you guys coming out, but please, just now. Okay, thanks. If we could just play the second part, not that first part. It's frozen water. Frozen water. Let's get out of here. I don't even... What's going hey, on? Hey, what are you doing? Wait, guys. What's the... I can't... In my face. In my face. It's cold. Do you guys want to get in trouble? I'll call the. I'll call your parents. You know what? That's it. Call. Ow! Okay, they got on me. You know what? You get expect a phone call. You know, I watched that, and God, don't you wish that cops were that cute, twenty four seven, all over? I sure do. What's that white stuff in Arizona? What is that? <laughs> Thank you for sending that along to me. This is not so funny. More rock slides. Pike County, Kentucky. Amazing video straight from our Storm Tracker 13 weather eye in Pikeville where a major rock slide has damaged a business. Take a look at this. The Pikeville Police Department says that slide hit road tested wrecker service on South Mayo Trail. A road tested representative tells 13 News rocks fell onto several cars and damaged the building. Heavy rains continue to plague the area with more rock slides expected through the weekend and flash flood watches have been issued already. South. Yep. You do know that what they are saying 
those who are pushing Agenda 2030, the climate change, global warming. Oh my God, humans, they should not be living in areas where there are trees and these rocks and rural areas. Um, it's all of this, the climate change, it's your fault because you built a home in the mountains or rural area. And it's your fault for having a business that right behind it, there was rock. Oh, insanity. It's all our fault. The human, we're bad. We're the two, the fires, the two legged, we're bad. We built too many homes in these areas, and well, change will have to take place because you know there's just too much destruction and because you built a home in a rural area or uh, a, you have a business that well right behind you is rock you're costing money okay the damage it's in the billions and billions you know all of this climate change and global warming you know that's caused well you drive a car too and you breathe you breathe and you some of you have cows and they fart you know this insanity and the abject stupidity of people believing all of this horseshit I would love to be able to tell you that we hit a level and now um, and now stupidity is stable no Oh, we are absolutely on a downward trend. Rock slides close I-40 in Tennessee, North Carolina. The North Carolina Department of Transportation is saying geotechnical experts will assess everything at sunrise. Of course, sorry. A rock slide closing both directions of Interstate 40 just over the state line into North Carolina. It happened at mile marker 7.5. So if you're traveling between states, expect a large detour. Take a look. If you're heading out of town, TDOT says you will have to go up I-81 to the Tri-Cities and then back down I-26 toward Asheville to get over the Smokies. If you're going from Knoxville to Asheville, that's a 170-mile drive where normally be right around 110 miles. North Carolina's Department of Transportation sharing this picture just a few moments ago of the slide. Now tonight we spoke with a Maryville woman. She, her husband, and two children all caught in traffic there on their way back from Myrtle Beach because of this slide. We're seeing a bunch of people turn around and go the other way that they don't want anybody turning around yet. But the police are stopping them and turning them back until they figure out exactly what they're going to do. You know, it's just a mess out there right now, as you heard. I have driven that uh, part of I-40, and it's you get stuck there. It is very hard to just turn around because they have these cement barriers um, that are uh, right in between the... Um, God, you know, going one way, going the other way. <laughs> this, I'm telling you, these frequencies are doing a number. Oh, and I bet some of you can relate to what happened to that word that I was looking for. Gone. When you have rock slides in this area, up going through the Smoky Mountains, you're talking about major disruption. People who have to get to uh, a location, but they can't take that route, they're going out of their way miles and miles and miles. So, eastern Tennessee, lots of flooding. Emergency shelters open and sinkholes. And then the travel problems continue as that rain kept coming today. That's right. The Granger County Sheriff's Office gave us a heads up this morning as they closed a road there. Knob Road, just south of Rutledge, 
had to be shut down because of a sinkhole. Live coverage tonight for you from WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford. She's been looking at the problem all day and the response and what Mother Nature is doing to Granger County's roads tonight. Mother Nature, you're really, really brilliant as a reporter. What is your job? Oh, you are uh, supposed to communicate the truth to those who watch your news program so that they are informed. Ah, but you get a script, right? Ah, and you get to live a comfortable life. You'll never do any any research on geoengineering, weather modification, to learn what is happening. No. So, you, too, are just the enemy. All of these people are the enemy, guys. You know, I got a comment or an email from a subscriber, and I did read all of your comments, and thank you for leaving them underneath the video that I posted last night. Um, many of you are not feeling well, and Eastern... Arkansas getting an awful lot of flooding. Um, many, many writing in saying what you are experiencing, very unusual weather. Yes, very unusual. Um, but it's also causing an awful lot of destruction. But I got this email from my subscriber who sent along that video. Um, she telling me that she was telling someone else about the vaccines and how they would eventually make it mandatory. And what was the response she got? Good. I hope they do. Now, that wasn't verbatim, but essentially that was that little interaction. And you know what? My response was, our enemies are not far away. They're really nearby. Our fellow Americans are our greatest enemy. They who choose willful ignorance and they who just don't care about anything. And it is very upsetting because even when you don't have um, the kind of disaster like uh, an entire town burns down in 24 hours, um, Paradise, California, all of the fires or it's not a massive hurricane. So many people are still suffering the consequences of weather being used as a weapon. Uh, you know, I look at this picture and I think to myself, how is it possible that that fire truck could not get through? And did it go off the road or did it hit what it looks like it's off the road? But... All right, I, I don't understand how a fire truck couldn't couldn't make it and literally gets submerged and is hanging off the road. All right, you know, sometimes I look at these things and yes, I get a lot of comments from a lot of you who say fake news, fake news, everything is fake on mainstream media and, and it's CGI, that's the videos that you're watching and the pictures, um, the, it didn't happen, it's all fake. Not everything is fake, but there are, oh, very often I question, all right, what are we looking at here? That fire truck could not get through. That seems a little odd. So either, I don't know, it did the road just collapse there? Doesn't seem like it, but then I, then I try to think, all right, what are they wanting to program into um, the heads of Americans? Weather now is dangerous. Stay inside. When you read these articles and you watch these mainstream media videos on weather, so often what you hear, do not go outside. Do not. Do not. Life-threatening weather. And unfortunately, when, and I, that was included in the video that I posted last night, you're driving down a road in Hawkins County. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Was it Tennessee or Kentucky? 62-year-old um, man in a truck. He's driving down the road. Boom. The road collapses and he's dead. Yes, it is life-threatening now. But... Uh, 
they're getting everybody programmed to obey their government officials whenever they say something and obey those mainstream media reporters because they're the ones who are reading the script from their government officials. But they're also telling you over and over whether now has become uh, so kind of treacherous that you cannot have any security even just driving down a road. Get out of those areas. Move to where those officials are telling you to move into the mega regions where you will be safe. You know, human beings in these rural areas. It should not have happened and we've got to get them out of there because they're causing all of this damage. And it's an unbelievable lie that so many people have bought, and it pisses me off that they have power outages in Kentucky. I'm sure power outages, well, some of you left comments saying power, power outages, but now we have tornado warnings uh, due to severe thunderstorms that are fast moving. They will be going through Ohio, Tennessee, middle and lower Mississippi valleys tonight. And they could contain dangerous tornadoes. Well, here we go. We've got the extremely low frequencies that are emitted, which is pretty much standard out of Houston or Galveston area. We've got extremely low frequencies, a shot <clears throat> off, um, it looks like the Mississippi coast, and these tails, this is what we see now, a tail of precipitation in the Gulf or through the, uh, the southeast portion of Texas, and it goes on for miles. Okay. Um, oh, and also heard from a subscriber in Michigan who I will call you later. Um, the, the snow that she got, well, it collapsed her greenhouse Man, my memory is really leaving me. All right, I'm going to show you. Uh, I just want to check out. Oh, wow, what a shot here, Washington. Check it out. Boom. Severe, intense pulse of extremely low frequencies, Washington. Let's slow that down. And we've got our extremely low frequencies shooting off into Canada from Montana. Look at that. Okay, that's a pulse that's new for me to see. Now, these extremely low frequencies are directional, so sometimes we see them, uh, the 360 extremely low frequencies emitted, and sometimes we see a 180 That's quite a shot. And what it portends, I hope nothing, but it could portend not very nice weather for you guys in Washington. All right. It's fed, okay? This is fed by Mother Nature? No! By man. Look at all of them. You don't even have to do any sub-regional close-ups. You can see all of the microwaves cursing through this weather front. The high-frequency heating, which is um, God, it's hard for me to see the blue boundary lines. Uh, Louisiana, then on up to 
Tennessee, Kentucky. All right, I'm going to have to show you how it's being fed. Do you see all of these uh, very thin white lines? That is not Mother Nature. Those are what people refer to as chemtrails. Others, geoengineering, aerosols that are very toxic. Look at all. You can see the X's being laid out. It's so obvious. This has been going on for days, guys. They are feeding this with aerosols. It's been endless for days on end. And that's why we have no sun, rain, and so much, uh, you know, inconvenience and chaos and uh, destruction going on. Look at this. But look at all of the microwaves as well. All of these ripples are powerful microwaves. Look at all of these lines. You know, I want to see if I can bring it up even closer. I can't for some reason on this site. Okay. Um, but you, do, do you need it to be any closer? These are not natural clouds. These are the lines, the signatures of planes or drones dumping chemicals and heavy metals, nanoparticulates that are cooked with the microwaves. You can even see the grid pattern in the microwaves when um, let it just go start uh, the loop right here. You get you can see the crossing. These lines are going in that grid pattern. <sighs> Look at this. I, I, it's been fed from the uh, Pacific, from off the coast of Mexico. This is being fed for days on end. Then they do the high frequency heating. That's why this has been going on. For how long now? And, you know, I for one am not too happy about it. Look at all of these microwaves cursing through this. So anybody should know. Anybody. Anybody. Uh, if you're an adult, you should look at this and realize, all right, this doesn't look really like uh, Mother Nature causing this precipitation. What is going through this that's causing all of those ripples? Microwaves. But this feeding, boy. Very obvious. Very obvious. All right. For all of you who want to believe, it's climate change. UNIPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, scientists blows whistle on lies about climate sea level. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is misleading humanity about climate change and sea levels. Dr. Niles Axel Morner, the retired head of the Paleogeophysics and Geodynamics at Stockholm University, said that he tried to warn the United Nations IPCC that it was publishing false information that would inevitably be discredited. They simply ignored him and so dismayed he resigned. He is not the only renowned, respected scientist to sit on the United Nations panel for climate change and has backed away and came out and said, there ain't no science going on. 
but we still can't get through to people, which I, you know, fighting the mainstream media lies is really quite the job. When, uh, yeah, discredited, they simply ignored him, and he resigned in disgust, decided to blow the whistle, asked if coastal cities such as Miami would be flooding due to sea level rise caused by alleged man-made global warming. Mourner was unequivocal. Absolutely not. There is no rapid sea level rise going on today, and there will not be. On the contrary, if anything happens, the sea will go down a little. The widely respected scientist who has been tracking sea levels in various parts of the globe for some 50 years blasted those who use incorrect correction factors in their data to make it appear that seas are rising worldwide. That is just wrong. And I want to once again say bookmark New American, Alex Newman, uh, New American articles. They are written really well, loads of facts, loads of evidence. It's a great site. Um, about the CO2 argument, noting there was something basically sick in the blame CO2 hypothesis. CO2, if it has any effect, it is minute. It does not matter. What has a big effect is the sun, and what has a really big effect is the geoengineering and the weather modification that is being <laughs> used, um, applied, weather is being used as a weapon by militaries. So, but the IPCC, they don't take into account the sun. They certainly don't take into account the geoengineering, the weather modification, uh, the technology that countries, um, so many around the world, well, they use this technology to create weather. We're not going to factor that in. We're not going to even factor in the sun. Their mandate, look only at what man is doing. No joke. What man is doing to create global warming. Well, when you are mandated and restricted to only one cause, <laughs> you clearly know that something is, something's up there. Uh, maybe they have an agenda and maybe they should look at other factors that contribute to climate change. All right. While he was serving on the UN IPCC, Mourner tried to warn his colleagues on the United Nations body that the politically backed hypothesis about CO2, driving temperature changes, and the subsequent claims regarding dangerous sea level rise were totally incorrect. They just ignored what I was saying. If they had facts on their hands, they could show that, no, you're wrong, but that is not the case. They just will not discuss it. I will try to discuss it. I will show with their own data that they are wrong because in science we discuss, we don't forbid or neglect. Yeah. But when people have an agenda and they're lying and somebody confronts them on their lies, what do they do? They just ignore it. About the frequency repeated, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, when asked about the frequently repeated and easily debunked claims of an alleged 97% consensus supporting the man-made global warming hypothesis, Mourner said it was simply not true. And even if it were, it would be irrelevant. Why does anybody say something when it is not correct? They say it because they have applied excellent lobbyists. The IPCC is a lobbyist panel. They are working with lobbyists in their hand. Say this, do that. We don't do that in the field of physics. Estimated around 80 to 90% of physicists know the hypothesis is wrong, and they claim that there are 97% who are for it, for this, oh man, causing climate change, CO2, get rid of cows that fart, and get rid of the humans because they're breathing too much, and they have to stop driving. Well, he said a claim that is 97% of scientific facts against them.
97% scientists wrong. There are 97% of scientific facts against them. Instead of science, Morner suspects that the behind-the-scenes promoters of the man-made warming hypothesis have dark ulterior motives. I think the ultimate thing is that they want a government for the whole globe. Yes, new world order. And they decided to use global warming, climate change, because that would, well, that's really a very big thing that we all, people of all nations have in common. You get people of all nations deceived into believing, oh my God, I should maybe just not breathe that much. And well, I should get a bicycle and I should be supporting all attempts, all attempts to curb this global warming. Oh, but then global warming ceased and that was an obvious. So they changed that global warming to climate change and climate change always changes. And these people, uh, so much evidence that they are lying through their teeth and we still can't get through to people. Uh, he brings up the Rockefeller dynasty and global efforts to keep developing countries from developing under the guise of saving the climate. This is the hope of controlling everything. It is autocracy. It is really bad. Nobody should rule like that. This globalism is a dangerous thing. By putting so much emphasis on climate alarmism and the alleged dangers of CO2, meanwhile, Mourner said the United Nations was diverted has diverted resources and attention away from all of the other real problems. But no, we're going to focus on CO2. CO2, we need more of it, not less of it. CO2 is not a pollutant. Do the research and you'll find out. CO2 is the life of the planet, but they want to get rid of CO2. You got to be really, yeah. When I even say that, I think to myself, hmm, maybe they are aliens from another planet. Um, and they can exist without CO2, but we cannot. Dr. William Happer, a world-renowned physicist, Princeton University, has advised President Trump on climate issues. He has denounced the warming alarmism, the demonization of CO2. We need more of it, he says. And more than meanwhile, caution promoters of the man-made warming hypothesis that they were going to ultimately be exposed with catastrophic consequences for the scientific community. community. He said, this is so unscientific, condemning climatologists for ignoring facts that contradict their climate models. And that is a terrible thing, the unscientific part about it. Because one day it will all be revealed as nonsense and then we lose our trustworthiness. Well, unfortunately, you still got that trustworthiness with the masses, but you don't have it with an awful lot of us. We know that science has been, and not just in the field of uh, climatology, but in all fields, it has been corrupted. So what we are reading in scientific journals is it's always got an agenda behind it. Um, but what's going to happen? No, it's not going to be revealed as nonsense uh, to the entire you know people of the world. What's going to happen is the older generation is dying off. The younger generations, they're being taught in schools, public schools, certainly here in the United States, my hunch in the UK, uh, maybe other Western countries, they're being taught. It's part of the curriculum. Climate change, global warming is real. So you indoctrinate a couple of generations, and you kill off the older generation, and voila, Ew, it's not going to be nonsense because all of the younger generations, they are growing up with this idea that it's absolutely real. So you get this, the, you get this young, new congresswoman, Ocasio-Cortez, who comes out and says, we only have 12 years left. And then you get a lot of those who are in the younger generation who don't know any better and they're growing up with these skies that are so unnatural, but they think it's the sky. You know, it's, um, God, I hate when evil wins. 
So he expressed sympathy for those who have been duped um, and they're saving the planet by fighting CO2. But he said right here, of course, everybody wants to believe in something, but they don't know what they're talking about. They believe they're saving the world. They believe belief really needs to be reevaluated. Belief is dangerous because when you have an awful lot of facts and evidence that shows that your belief is not quite right, uh, but those who believe it can't get off their belief, refuse to have that belief challenged, they ignore those who say, hey, you know, I got evidence that kind of, well, it does challenge your belief, but maybe you could take a look at it, that that climate change, global warming business is uh, really just a lie. Um, you know, all of the scientists who have sat on the panel um, that have come out and said, there's no science going on here. Um, there, it's a policy panel and they, they draft policy for governments, you know, to institute the United Nations, uh, you know, plans for Agenda 2030 to create this new world order for the very extremely wealthy elite to have at their own pleasure Oh, well, you can't get through to people. Well, I will, um, the most dangerous and frightening part of it, how such a lobbyist group has been able to fool the whole world. That's what he said. Uh, comparing to how national socialists in Germany and communism, both Russia and China, were able to deceive the populations and seize power, blasting the autocratic process. He said, these organized and deceitful forces were so dangerous. He also expressed shock that the United Nations and governments would parade children around the United Nations Climate Summit. That's right, exploit children. What do they know, he said. What do they know? They are very nice, all of them, but they should be out playing, not talking at the United Nations. He said it is an insult to science, uh, like it's a little evil that they're using children as propaganda. So um, Alex Newman reached out to the IPCC for comment. Ignored. Ignored. All right, I'll link below to everything. You know, I hope that you um, circulate this uh, information. You don't have to circulate my video. Please circulate this article. You know, and I don't know, just, um, just keep doing it. You know, if you have to take action that is right, you know, you've got to do the right thing and then let go of the result. Let go of the result. You just have to keep marching forward and you've got to do what's right. All links are below.